Hello traders, welcome back to Simply Forex. Good to see your faces. Um, today, guys, I'm going to show you a vid um, about a very simple against trend strategy. Yes, I said it against trend. Normally, guys, I do trade with trend, but sometimes when certain criteria is met, we can trade against trend. We can trade the retrace. Okay, so let me show you what the hell I'm talking about. So this is pound yen. This is the weekly chart. Generally, for picking these trades, I look at weekly or daily, but I execute on the H1. Okay. So first of all, guys, yeah, we can see that this is in an uptrend. Yeah. Higher lows, higher highs. Yeah. You don't need to be Warren Buffett to see that is in an uptrend. Okay. But at this point here, we need we need two things to happen. So firstly, we need to be at a good area of support or resistance, okay? And you can see historically that this level in here is a good level of resistance because we're in an uptrend. So this is a good level of resistance. We also need to be very overbought, okay? So if you look at the moving average 20, how I gauge how overbought or uh, oversold something is, is how far away it is from the moving average 20. And once price got up here and moving average 20 is down here, you can see that price is very overbought. You could use uh, statistics, you could use RSI, but all of them is going to tell you this area here is overbought. You know, you don't even need an indicator to tell you that. You can just look on the charts, okay? So to recap, guys, we need to be at a good area of resistance or support. Tick. We need to be very overbought, yeah? Look how far away we are from the moving average 20. Tick. Use an RSI, statistics, whatever you want. So once we confirm these two things, yeah, I am then looking for a breakdown in H1 structure, okay? So let's drop down to the H1 chart now and scroll back to that gray zone, okay? So guys, um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what the hell is going on. I am terrible at zooming in. Okay, so this is that gray zone we were talking about. Okay, so price, yeah, had come up, yeah, tested this gray zone, come back down, yeah, still wanted to keep testing it, okay? But all I'm looking for, guys, is a breakdown in H1 structure, as simple as that. We get to that level that ticks the criteria, and then I'm just looking for a um, a breakdown in H1 structure. Simple as that, guys. So you can see we are in an uptrend. Okay. But eventually these lows break. As soon as I see this candle, we can enter this trade. Yeah. You can see we can enter on the close of this candle put our stop above these highs or even the moving average 20, and then we can just let price rip down, you know, potentially back down to the next area of support. Okay, so let's take a look and see how this trade played out. And you can see, guys, that price came down nicely. All right, and this gray zone was a target. And all you want to do, guys, is follow that H1 structure down. Maybe you missed this entry, okay? But you can see H1 structure never gets broken. Yeah? We can follow H1 structure all the way down. These highs never get broke. These highs never get broken. These highs never get broken. Okay? So 
very simple. We get to a, a weekly or daily area of support and resistance. Price is very overbought in an uptrend or oversold in a downtrend. We'll look at an, uh, an oversold example in a minute. And then we look for H1 structure breakdown. Once we get it, yeah, look at that. Look how it just comes shooting down, guys. Nice trade. And the risk to reward, if you entered on this candle here, put your stop above here, you know, this is your reward down to the next level of support. All right, so that is an example of an overbought um, pair in an uptrend. We're now going to look at a pair that is in a downtrend and oversold. So we're now going to look at an example of an oversold pair. Okay, but before we do, guys, if you're enjoying this simple strategy, uh, then come join us. Subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, smash the like button. We'd love to have you come join us. We've also got some cool things going on, guys. We've got the free Discord. We've got the VIP Discord where you have access to me throughout the trading day and I give you my trade ideas. Um, what else have we got? We've got the mentorship program where you can be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself. We've also got YouTube membership if you would like to support the channel. Um, and we also do live streams every day, 8 a.m. New York EST time. So um, if you want the details of any of those things, they are all in the video description. Right. We are going to look at a oversold pair now. So this is euro against the New Zealand dollar. OK, and we were in an uptrend. OK, but then price, as you can see, has come hurtling down. Yeah, breaking this low, even these lows. So we are in a downtrend. Remember, this is against trend. OK, so we're clearly in a downtrend, guys. But like I say, once we get to an area of support, this gray zone through here has proven to be a very good area of support. So what's the criteria? We need to be at a support and resistance level, tick. And we need to be very oversold. Yeah, again, I use the moving average 20. You can see how far price is away from the moving average 20. This tells me it's oversold. Or you can use other indicators, RSI, statistics, whatever you prefer. So this is what we're seeing, guys. All right. So we've got support and resistance tick, very oversold tick. All right. And then all we do, guys, is go down to the H1 chart and look for a break in H1 structure. OK, so you can see all the way down here, we never get a break in H1 structure. Yeah, it keeps coming down. We never get a break until this candle here. OK, and then when this candle breaks these highs, yeah, we can enter. Yeah, and then just follow that H1 structure back up to the next logical level of resistance okay again this will be a great trade guys very simple strategy against trend but look how effective it can be um and again if you entered here yeah put your stop below here yeah you're getting a very nice risk to reward as well but remember that's all we're waiting for is a break of that h1 structure when that last H1 high is broken with this candle here, we enter, we have a wonderful trade. All right, guys. So, yeah, that is my simple against trend strategy. I hope you liked it. If you did, come join the channel, subscribe, smash the notification button and smash the like button, guys. All right. Um, and I will see you next time.